Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to look at a post process that adds this outline effect as you can see. It's going to be quite simple even though it's not shader graph. But uh, let's jump, jump into it. Um, it's worth noting that this is the post process uh, v2 and it's not the integrated post process for uh, the URP universal uh, universal render pipeline and the um, meaning previously you had to import this um, if you go here or you have to do this actually you have to come to the uh, package manager and search for post process and install it right and then you will have to um, you will have to go to your settings and here in post processing you have to choose the post processing v2 and yes it is going to be deprecated at some point but uh, until now i could, couldn't find any way to add your own integrated ones um so yeah but it's probably going to be something similar once uh, unity adds the capability to add your custom uh, post processes to the integrated one but for now we are just going to use uh, v2 and um Let's jump into the first C-sharp uh, uh, code, which is basically, I, I followed one of the tutorials, um, which you have to declare two, cla two classes. Uh, one that will have the properties, as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, um, an integer parameter for the thickness, float parameter for where the edge starts, and a float parameter for the smoothness between the on, on the start basically of the the edge and one for the color and you will need another class um, which will implement the render function and uh, all what you need to do is to get the uh, the shader that you created for the outline which we will look at right now uh, and uh, basically do this stuff right um, uh, uh, context dot property sheets dot get and you pass in the shader and then you will have this sheet and then f uh, properties dot set and you set all your parameters all right and these are going to be uh, the uh, names of the variables in your shader uh, and then you do this uh, blit thing uh, as I mentioned all of these are uh, uh, in a tutorial you can find uh, an official one from Unity, and I'll, I'll, I'll link it also in the description. And so our shader, which has to match the same name, as you can see here, is quite simple, and it's a Sobel filter, uh, which means we are going to look at the difference between the pixel on the left and the pixel on the right of each pixel. What's the difference between the pixel on the left and the right as well as what's the difference between the pixel at the top and at the bottom of the current pixel um, and all of that we are talking about uh, the difference on the depth texture right uh, getting that would basically um, produce the outline that we saw uh, so as I mentioned um, our properties here um, also you need the main text which has the um, basically the colors of whatever the the ca uh, camera rendered, and um, the camera depth texture. These two has to be to match this exact same name uh, because that's what Unity calls them. Um, yeah, and then in our fragment uh, function, which is going to be executed for each pixel. Um, we will define this offset variable, which is our thickness parameter divided by the screen params, which are basically the width and height. And this means um, what is the number of pixels that we want to jump on the left and on the right, on the top and on the bottom of, of the current pixel. <coughs> and as you can see here, um, we do this sample texture to get uh, the value from the, the, the depth texture. 
uh, you just pass in the depth texture and the sampler and the i dot text qu text quartz which is what is the uv basically of the current pixel plus um, minus offset on the x which would go to the left right and then for the right the same but plus x which is going to be to, to go to the right and from the uh, the sample texture we only want the x or the red channel which is the same as the blue uh, same as green because it's a, a, a grayscale image and then after that you need to call this function on it so that it, it transforms it to uh, linear i depth which um, as far as i understand it's between zero and one rather than having um, real uh, unity scale values and so for up and down you do the same but zero for the x and uh, offset dot y for the y and minus y to go down right so now we have uh, the value of the depth texture on the left right up and down and then we calculate our delta which is the subtraction of left and right uh, uh, power 2 plus the subtraction of up and down power 2 and then you do a square root for this whole thing and then uh, I think the length this can probably go away because we are dealing with all floats we don't need to uh, get the length because yeah so here we have our delta and now we want to calculate t, which is going to be our uh, um, our t value for the lerp between our main texture, whatever the camera rendered, and our color parameter. So t is um, I'm, I'm using the smooth step function, which is the same as smooth step uh, node in shader graph, which takes the edge and the second edge, right, and it it transitions smoothly between them. Um, and this is the real value that is going to be uh, accounted for. And so if this is like 0 0.5, and then this is um, 0 0.5 as well, and this is like 0 0.6, then the, the result is going to be between this and that, as far as I understand. While a step function would only transition between 0 and 1, it will jump immediately. The smooth step, it will transition gradually between 0 and 1, right? So we have our t. And then we just uh, sample our um, normal color from uh, whatever the camera rendered already. And then our color, uh, I'm using a lerp to um, basically lerp between our main texture whatever the camera rendered, and the color based on the alpha, so that you can have uh, basically the alpha control the, um, the alpha of the color. And uh, I'll show you now. And then lastly, the output is lerp between our whatever the camera uh, rendered and our color based on the T that we calculated. And then you just return <coughs> the output. So, <coughs> now, if you create a post-process volume profile, uh, and again, you will have to add this post-process layer component on your camera. And what else? Um, yeah, I think that's it. And 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 create obviously, uh, you have to put the camera as the trigger and if this is none you have to choose either default or, or everything and uh, let's see and you gotta have your post process volume component on uh, one of the objects in the scene which has the profile and it's it's gonna show here as well and you will have your uh, outline post process here in the custom uh, menu and to demonstrate this color 
And if you change the alpha, it's going to change the alpha. Let's go back to black and edge. You can see where does the edge starts. And this is if you if you focus here, for example, you can see how the change is. But now we will have this problem. And so you can change back the edge. Where does it start? And so now the transition is much smaller or, or uh, shorter, you can say, between the black and or between the outline and non outline. And so this is it. You can find the download for this um, project in the description. And uh, you can also check out my assets link in the description as well to support me. And um, yeah, have a good one.